Hey guys and girls, I'm Ali, and today we are going to watch Red vs. Blue Season 6, Episodes 1, 2, 3. So, uh, technically they call them chapters there. So should I call them chapters 1, 2, 3? Um, I mean, now we're basically at the point where there's no counting upwards anymore. Um, we reached episode 100 in season five and now in season six we're just starting to count again from one and uh yeah that's how it's gonna be so today i'm going to record six videos after i just recorded ruby like yeah i'm i'm pre-producing at the moment like whoa um <laughs> just because it's easier for me to just do it all in one day and then, um, you know, use the time the other days as good as I can for other stuff, like university and all that. But yeah, we're gonna do it in chunks of three to four episode again. And it's gonna fill the break in between Ruby volume eight episodes seven and eight. Um, we have six videos to go. Fun time. So, it's been a while since I watched Red vs. Blue. It's been quite a while. Um, because, you know, I, I recorded it before Ruby Volume 8 came out. So, technically, I do remember stuff that happened. Um, we had the two miniseries who were about um, the freelancers and the AIs um, and you know Delta is just the best <laughs> that's what I remember <laughs> and there was also um, Yeah, that there was also someone, I don't remember their name, who was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly how it was, but um, I, I'm gonna remember if it's important to the plot, I guess. Uh, we had a few things about the AIs and the freelancers and all that, so I guess that's, that's the most important stuff. And at the end of season five, with our people, uh, that we knew from the very beginning. Um, something exploded. That's what I remember. Something exploded in the air. And that's just, you know, stuff happening. I guess we'll just jump in. I guess I will find out about what I was supposed to remember uh, while watching this, so let's just jump right in, right? <laughs> so, and like always, uh, if you like this video, you can like, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to subscribe, uh, you can do that to see more of the videos and stuff. Um, and down in the description are two links, one to the Discord, which you could join, and one to the Patreon, where you can't get any Rooster Teeth content, but other content. There, there's like a a decent amount of other content there. So, I guess we'll just jump in into season six and see what it has in store for us. I, I guess I have to just like, you know, try to make my brain into the direction of red versus blue again because Ruby just... Um, Set out a lot of emotions. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go in three, two, one, and go. It is an undeniable and may I say fundamental quality of man that when faced with extinction, every alternative is preferable. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? People don't want to die. Well, if you think about Ruby, it's different, because there we have Salem. <laughs> Reconstruction. To the director of Project Freelancer from the Oversight Subcommittee Chairman. Captain Rebus, we've got something over here. 
Dear Director, I want to thank you in advance for your openness in response to our subcommittee's request for more information. We were disappointed that your recovery force reported a total loss at Outpost 17B. We had hoped right. there would be at least one soldier left that could shed some light on the situation. I know that your agency has enjoyed a high degree of freedom with very little scrutiny in the past few years. It is not our intention to disrupt such a progressive military program, but instead to find a way we can work together in a manner that befits all our responsibilities. I am certain that you will agree, and we look forward to making this review process as painless as we possibly can. Thank you, gentlemen. Would you please excuse us? All right. You are Private Walter Henderson, correct? Yes, sir. You can dispense with the formalities, Walter. Please feel comfortable to speak as candidly as you wish. All can right. Can you tell us what happened at your outpost, Walter? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, I had been there about six months. Everything was pretty much like normal, and one day this ship crashed. I see. Is this the ship right. to which you are referring? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, that's it. Please. Tell me what was on the ship, Walter. I don't know. The Blues got there first. They fought us off while they cleared it out. Took the stuff back to base. By the time we got a hold of it, it just seemed like a regular old transport. Our engineer said some of the wiring had been messed with, but he didn't seem, you know, worried about it or nothing like that. I see. Thank you for that. But whatever was on the ship must have been what started the whole thing. Please, Walter. Of course. The same thing. The infection. Blues just stopped fighting us. Some of them set up camp outside their base and trapped the rest of their team inside. Blew up their comm tower right. for some reason. Their own comm tower. Then they blew up ours. That's why we couldn't radio for help. We couldn't figure out why they would do that. After that, nothing. No word from them at all. The CO sent a squad over. All the Blues were dead. They had killed each other. Why do you wow. think they did that? I don't know. They had torn the radios out of their helmets and dismantled their computers. The of CO course said they, they were did. trying to build something. But I saw the stuff. No way. They were trying to break it. And there was another body in there, too. Not a blue. Somebody else. Actually, she looked like him. Don't worry about him for now, Walter. Please, continue. We brought all the equipment back to base and brought it online. And that's when the infection started for us. The soldiers became sick? No. They just... they were different. Yeah. Off. We would catch guys getting into areas they shouldn't get into. But the weird thing was, a guy would go crazy, act up, and then we would throw him in a cell, and he would be fine. Yeah, because... And another guy would go nuts, disobey orders. The AI would Like trying to bring the comm tower back online, to even person. though we were told to leave it be. Maybe they knew it was coming. They knew what was coming. At first, we thought it was hell. It ransacked Blue Base, searched all the bodies. Then it came after us. It seemed focused on the guys that were infected. Eventually, it just started killing everything. Could you describe it for All right. us, Walter? Not really. It moved fast when we first saw it, and after Blue Base, it was... It was different. In what way, different? Different. It looked like it wasn't there. I don't know how to explain it. That's all right. I know this has been difficult for you, Walter. We're going to do everything we can to help you. Please, follow these men to your new quarters. You'll be with us as long as absolutely necessary. Yeah, okay. You have my word. Agent Washington, what do you make of all this? Hi. It sounds like exactly what I encountered. Mm -hmm. Except it's stronger now, and becoming more so all the time. Does that concern you? It doesn't make me excited. You've been through a lot with this program, Agent Washington. The Epsilon AI did. assigned has you. already been discussed to death. I'm over it. And now you're physical problems because of your last encounter. I'm better now, mentally and physically. Our profile right. of you disagrees with your assessment. Look, the last mission I ran against this thing, I got shot in the back by my own partner. Agent South, we feel so Yep, we, we remember that. that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> if I hadn't had York's healing unit, I'd be dead now. So while this isn't right. a deal and I don't feel like sticking my neck out for you guys, if it puts me on a path that leads to her, you can trust me at least that far. So you would say that you have overwhelming feelings of anger and a need for revenge? More than you know. Excellent. All right. Now that our agency is under investigation, 
The director feels it is important for us to be as open as possible with each other. If our suspicions are correct, the Meta has made another addition. The Omega AI. It was Omega and Tex, right? Yep. Yes, it was. The Meta doesn't leave much behind. It's going to be hard to track. We think the best place for you to start would be the Omega's last known location. The soldiers there have the most experience with our program. I see. So I oh, should yeah. contact these experts. We do not like the term experts. Because no one really knows what our program is doing? Let's just say the term expert is a little too... Complimentary in this particular case. All you right. still have your old suit of armor? Of course. Wait. Why? Oh. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> We're gonna get back into those suits. <laughs> Alright, let's just go A on. response from the director of Project Freelancer. Oh, we're Dear going chairman, further with those while letters. While I am obligated to assist your investigation, I ask that you not waste my time with irrelevant questions. My agency is normally unconcerned with such minute directives as troop reassignment. Except, of, of course. course, in the most critical of matters. Yeah. But, okay, Washington is gonna visit our guys. Anybody here? Somewhere. Recovery one, calling command. Come in, command. Go ahead, Recovery One. We have you. I'm at Outpost 1A. Looks deserted. Roger that. See if you can find any evidence that would suggest where they all might. Hey! Hey, <laughs> What's with Hi. that noise? People are trying to sleep here. Um. They're trying to sleep. Scratch that command. It appears I found someone. Recovery One out. Oh man. Hi, I'm Agent Washington. This is Blue Base, correct? It was. Was? Everybody's gone. Transferred. Something about this base being obsolete now. All or... right. Where did All they go? Right. I don't know. All different places. Nobody told me anything. Well, I'm trying Aww. to locate some people who have experience with the freelancer program. Freelancer? Is that the band we had here last night? You had a party here? Yeah. I don't think so. After I arrive every night. Charge five bucks a head. Last night, I made ten bucks. Oh, oh. Nice. You use the base for raves? That doesn't seem like the proper use for official resources. That what does you? seem like, like the use she would no. give it. Because if you are, and I ask you, then you have to tell me. That's totally a law or something. I'm not the police, and that's not a real law. Well, if you're not a cop, then how do you know it's not a real law? Busted! You caught me. Hey, is there anybody else sure. smart here that I can <laughs> talk to? Yeah, right. Like, I'm gonna tell you. I don't rat people out, cop. Okay. I'm gonna leave now. Good luck with your empty base and your raging insanity. Yeah? Whatever! Good luck with being a cop! COP! Of course. In command. Hello, Washington. Yeah, she's not the we person you want, you want to talk to if you want Blue experts. Base. Enlightening. Going to try the red base now. I'm hoping things there will be a little more... Fat. Normal. Oh, Cardboard cutouts? I mean, why does Red Army? This base is operating at full capacity. And if you come in here, you're gonna get into a big, uh, a slap fight. I'm gonna have to call you back. So don't come any further. Ooh la la. There's your last warning. Stay out. I love masks. What in the... Your only hope of survival is to kiss my command. Yeah, it's, it's... And there's another warning. I know the other warning was supposed to be last, but I never listen to orders, because I'm too lazy and stupid. Of course. Did I mention ugly? This is going to be a waste of time. Sarge, what did you do? Yeah, freeze, intruder! Stop your intruding right there! Who made these things? I did! Wait, you're real? Of course I am! It fell for a classic misdirection! I still got it! <laughs> Está todo bien aquí. We're fine, Lopez! Just Lopez is still there. Blue. How many and he has a body. Oh no. Yatsi! We're on a hot streak! Uh, I'm not actually a blue. I'm from command. Command? No kidding! I was hoping you could tell me about the soldiers transferred out of this outpost. You mean Griffin Simmons? Those traitors. I told them not to go. The battle here isn't even over yet. Um, it looks over to me. Not well, yeah. there's a single blue left in this canyon. Which there is. A single blue. Victory or death. I see. Are you going around? I refuse my relocation orders. Obviously, command wasn't thinking clearly. So, you're AWOL then. I, uh... 
Hey, what? Don't tell him anything until you talk to a lawyer. You have rights. I'm not a cop. Hey, beat it, you little tramp. You see why I can't go? Why not just attack her and win wow. it? It would take about ten seconds. Oh, old and I hate you. That's the problem. I can't attack a girl, so we're locked in an epic stalemate. You're kidding me. Well, of course. cooking something up, and I gotta be ready. So those are the only ones left. Where are the others? With their glow sticks and their tribal drum beats. Well, sure. It's been really informative, but I need to find someone who has experience with artificial intelligence. All right. You want Caboose then? He got infected for a little while, I think. Great. Caboose. Do you know where he is? Of course. We intercepted the blue's orders. I got it right here. Lopez. Get this guy the blue team relocation orders. Lopez probably converted them to Spanish, so they might be a little hard to understand. All right. Yeah, they wouldn't be the first thing today. Shut up, cop! Wow. Uh, that is an interesting thing we're left with right now. Let's go on with chapter three, and then we're going to talk a little bit about that. Dear director. And again. Your busy schedule, we have begun interviewing members of your staff. I'm certain you will let us know if this bothers you. Our debriefings keep coming back to a single subject at Outpost 17B. Can you explain to us what this meta is and what your plans are to deal with it? Oh no! Hell no! Excuse me, sir, but no goddamn way! You must be Lieutenant Miller. I got reds coming out my ass here, boss. You show up and take away one of my men for a... Uh, what did you say this was for? Secret mission, sir. Oh, you gotta be... Oh, what? I think you have bigger issues than troop assignments, soldier. How about getting some of these vehicles back in working order? What the hell do you think I'm talking about? This is your fault. You sent us the new guy. He said he was good with vehicles. All he does is talk to him. Talk yeah, to him. that what sounds like that him. <laughs> and now look at the damn things. I don't have time to discuss your problems. I have orders, and those orders say that I need Private Caboose, and I need him now. He has information that is vital to the security of- Wait a second. Of Caboose? You're taking Caboose? And I don't have to pay you or anything like that? Is that a problem? They're gonna be happy about this. <laughs> Hell no! It must be Christmas morning and no one told me. Not yet. You stay right there. It's the I'll 21st it while I'm recording this. Private Joe Ennis. Joe it's almost Ennis. Christmas though. Joe Ennis, <laughs> where the hell are you? Sir, for the millionth time, my name is pronounced Jones. Jones. Shut up, Joe Ennis. Seriously, lots of people have the name. It's very common. How am I the first guy you've met called Jones? Joannis, I need you to go down to the brig, untie Caboose, and get him up here. Me? Untie him. Alone? Double time, Joannis. <laughs> it's pronounced... Never mind. Christ. You keep him in the yeah, brig? Yeah, okay. We keep him like tied your accent, up in though. the brig. <laughs> I'm not taking any more chances. Oh! Why? Be careful. You'll understand soon enough. You wanted to see me, Principal Miller. Where's the guy I sent Hello. to get you? Oh, him, yeah. Um, I he think he shot him. out and then somehow shot himself in the back somehow. Uh, but of we course. don't think it was anyone's fault. Everybody agrees it was an accident. Jesus, would someone go check on him? <sighs> Caboose, this here is Special Agent Washington from Blue Command. He has something fantastic he needs to talk to you about. Command? Oh, no. They never have good news. Did somebody die? Was it my mom? Is she dead? Or my dad? Did my dad die again? Oh no. <laughs> again? I, I so that happened before? <laughs> you see? He's yours now. <laughs> no take backs. Is it my brother? Was my brother killed? That's it, isn't it? My brother's dead! What? No, no one's nothing dead, like that. I oh guess. good. Because I don't even have a brother. How sad would it be to not have a brother and to lose a brother all in the same day? Yeah, that's, no that's Caboose. Well, Join us is dead, sir. If anyone had okay, any no doubts. Besides him. Once again, nobody's fault. Psst. Sure. I think the new guy did it. Private Caboose, you were stationed at Blood Gulch, correct? Yeah. That was fun. And our records indicate you were infected by an aggressive artificial intelligence program at one point. Yes. Omega AI, is that correct as well? Yeah, that wasn't as much fun. Okay, well, yeah. I need you to come with me. I'm investigating a critical issue, and 
you seem to be the only person with the knowledge and experience necessary to help me. Experience. And I just kind of knowledge. I once I said it out loud. Nonetheless, I need you to come with me. Can I have a word with him first, sir? Sure, I guess. Now, Caboose, I know we didn't always get along. I got tied up. Right. Yeah. All these mistakes. I know it's not your fault. You seem like a good kid. You're just a little confused. Yeah, he is. But I want to give you a piece of advice. This guy looks like a tough customer, and you're bound to get into some situations that maybe you're not prepared for. Right. Like All a right. rodeo. Now, if that happens, if you find yourself in danger or in a situation where you think something bad is going to happen to you, I want you to remember just one thing. Never, ever come back here. Okay. Of course. No, I need to know that you understand. I need to hear you say it. Don't ever go backwards. Okay, I guess that's as close as we're gonna get. Yeah. He's all yours! Great. Let's get going. Okay. Are we there yet? <laughs> Are we there yet? Thank Are you, there yet? Try to stay quiet. Boys, this is a great day. Things are finally changing for us. I can Yay. It. Should we bury join us now, sir? Fellas, let's just enjoy this moment a little longer. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Wow. Where am I? Oh, well, that looks nice. Oh, my God! A giant person! Oh, no. So, that's our first set of episodes. I'm, I'm thirsty. I have to go to the bathroom again. With the post credit scene? Oh, you again. It's him, isn't it? Right. So, that was um, the beginning of season 6 of Red vs. Blue. So, technically, our people are kind of everywhere. Um... Uh, yeah, Blood Gulch Outpost seems in an interesting situation. Hey, at least Sarge and Lopez have each other again. <laughs> but yeah. And, and Washington, oh god, caboose. So, we're gonna get a lot of caboose. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious why they were, like, sent away in different places and stuff. But I guess, yeah, um, those miniseries are definitely important to understand the plot from now on. Like, I know that the first miniseries was supposed to be after season four, but people told me it's technically okay if I watch it after season five, but yeah, watching the first and second before season six is the most important here. Um, because without those miniseries, we wouldn't know a lot about what is happening right now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we picked up, like, this plot, because, um, I enjoyed it a lot more than a lot of like the other plot points um, because I don't know maybe because this is like m a little bit more serious and stuff and I do like more serious shows usually um, but yeah I'm I'm curious how this will turn out and um, if Caboose can help Washington to actually get some results <laughs> Um, I mean, he, he did have, um, the AI in his head at some point, but if he's really an expert on that, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's nice to see those characters again. It's been a, quite a time since I watched, like, the last season and all that. So it's, it's, it's nice to come back. And, um... Like, I know that if you, like, watch something all the time, um, it might, like, you might get tired of it at some point. And I'm kind of happy that we 
had that, like that we had the break since, you know, I uploaded Ruby instead. And now I'm kind of going into a fresh start here. And it, it's, I think I enjoy it a lot more than I would enjoy it if I had just went on, like if I went on with the episodes of season six right after the miniseries. Um, but yeah, we're only gonna do season six and then after that it's gonna be Ruby again and let's see how fresh the next start will be then. But yeah, um, that's it for this video. Uh, interesting start. Um, I didn't expect them to be like all over the place. I expected our people basically to still be in a group, but I guess that's not it. That's not how it goes. Um, but yeah, why not? Um, so I guess we're gonna at some point find the others and step by step find out what happened. At least Washington's gonna find out what happened. We don't know everything, but we know quite a bit. And yes, um, they're right in the end. Beautiful tease, right? But um, I guess that's it for me for this video. So on this note, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.